All right, so the floor. Uh, minivans are a lot more difficult than a cargo or a sprinter van, which I learned very quickly. Uh, when you get cargo and sprinter vans, uh, the floor is completely flat, which is kind of ideal. Um, in a minivan, they're kind of dipped down because the seats uh, will go in the middle. And the whole van, uh, I don't know if it's aerodynamics or what it is, but it's actually slanted down. So I tried to make the floor as level as possible uh, just so I could lay a nice wood floor. So there are a few photos up on the blog that just kind of show how I leveled it out. And I'm going to try to show you as best I can, uh, just because it's already finished, um, just the layers underneath and kind of where I packed the insulation in the floor. Just because obviously along with your windows, your floor is going to bring the most cold air in. So um, you really want to insulate it. For myself, I'll be traveling a lot in the winter. So it's kind of, you only get one shot to do the floor. So I would recommend you do it right. Um, so I'm just going to switch the camera over here and I'll show you the floor. Hey guys, so uh, this is the floor I laid. Um, I did put down an actual like wood floor um, just because that's the way I am and I like things kind of pretty. Um, I did close up this side so you can't see, but I'll show you on the other side of the van. Um, but just be smart because right underneath here is actually all the electrical that's going to run from the front of your van uh, to your back brake lights and stuff. So you don't want to accidentally drill through anything because that just wouldn't be the best and to give you an idea I'll show you from the front um, it is it is quite raised up there so you can see there's quite a few layers so that's how much difference there is between the back of the van and the front of the van for uh, the levels there so I'll just kind of walk around the back here and I'll show you so you can kind of see because I didn't close up the back very well um, but in the videos you kind of saw that there was uh, boards running through uh, these are them what these actually are is not only did I put the insulation in between them, but I actually bolted my floor to where the seats used to be clipped in. Um, I guess I just have a fear that if my vehicle actually rolled over, that I don't want everything just falling on top of my dog who would be uh, traveling with me. So, so yeah, um, these little suckers, uh, and you'll see in some of the photos on the blog, are bolted right into where the seats used to clip into. And then I've kind of, there's a few layers. So there's the one layer of wood and you can see there's a layer of foam there and I just kind of shoved more foam in wherever I could. Uh, made a nice flat layer. Then there's actually the layer of just like an underlay. Um, I used half inch pine, but I guess you could go a little thinner. And then I laid the wood floor right on top. Um, with the wood floor, you know, everyone lays them different. Um, this is not some fancy house. So I glued down kind of the first row, made sure it was straight. And then basically everything else, um, I just used an air nailer and nailed it right into this piece of wood. Um, so yeah, and this is all, this piece of wood is drilled into this, which this is bolted into the actual van. So I hope that kind of helps. Um, I'll show you from the other side. I left this door so it could still open, um, just so I could run electrical and stuff. But you can kind of see over on this side, um, because I only put one board and this was more to keep it just more stable but same thing this is your electrical like right here um, so don't mess with that um, but yeah so there's little boards this runs on each side of the bolts and they're bolted in and same thing I just filled as much insulation as I could and then to kind of get it level uh, because it's such uh, quite a bit more of a dip at the front is there's actually a thicker another piece of insulation there so there's a few more pieces then you have your half inch uh, pine and then the actual wood floor so I didn't really care if this side looked nice because it's going to be shut most of the time. But that's how I did my wood floor. Um, just takes a lot of measuring and a lot of patience to be completely honest with you. But there's right now there's quite a few layers of foam. So this is, this is rated I believe at an R7 or maybe it's an R5. And then these are little R2s. So uh, for insulation if that makes sense. So you know there's a little bit more insulation but... You know, you're not going to win when you're uh, insulating a minivan. Anyways, uh, hope that helps. Um, just kind of, I would just say pick any sort of flooring. But you can see it. Like, it ends up, it looks it looks quite nice. Uh, so good luck and uh, fire me any questions if you have any. And hopefully I can help you out.